it up and get it ready for some finish or some oil and then we'll oil up the other two and i'm gonna try and keep this around maybe like a, a three and a half hour stream today uh maybe four hours all right we we went to ikea yesterday um we went to the lumber yard and i don't know i just was not feeling uh feeling right yesterday evening so again i apologize i, I had intentions to stream yesterday uh, but i just I, I don't know something something wasn't right yesterday and i just uh just couldn't get out here so uh, but we're we're back to it today and uh yeah we'll we'll, we'll just do a nice a nice uh simple stream get this one done again this is like uh, inspired by this walnut ball up here but this one is made out of cherry so we're gonna flip it around we're gonna grip onto the tenon and we will hollow out the inside um before uh before sanding and then putting some finish on here and i think this will be a really nice bowl when it's all said and done so um, let's go ahead and take this first step here. Uh, just letting you know, uh, it wasn't you, it was my headphones. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, we went to the lumber yard yesterday. So um, it is a place here locally in Austin. They have a ton of, a ton of wood in there. Like it is honestly, I, I don't know how many millions of dollars, honestly, millions of dollars in hardwood and plywood in there. Um, it's just crazy, but this place was probably, if I had to guess, probably built, um, you know, the 80s, I would say. And I feel like they haven't changed anything since the 80s. And it's and it's pretty unfortunate. Um, like, their style is, you, you walk up there and it's just like an open warehouse. And you can just walk around. They have upstairs that, like, they built out of wood. And you can walk up there and see the lumber that's on display up there. Um, they have these old trolleys, like, and, and I don't use the word trolley unless this thing is like, it looks like it was built a long time ago. And, and, uh, I, I don't know. There's nobody out there helping you. There, there's zero customer support on the floor. Um, and the way that they work is you pick out the wood that you want, you call up and, uh, you call up their number, which it just calls into the office on the inside, but Apparently, they can't have people outside actually helping you. Um, that would be too much to ask, I think. And and you call them up, and then they measure up what wood you've got, write you a ticket, a handwritten ticket, and then you have to go inside, and uh, they they check you out on like the old school credit card machines. Now, it's it's I think it's one step above. Like I've never seen this myself because I think whenever at least by the time I had credit cards, they didn't do this anymore. But I have seen it like in uh in 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 uh 